Hey guys, it's Lego Bully Z3. Today I have an unboxing from the cubicle. So I have no idea what's in this package, so let's just go ahead and open it up here, just like that. So it looks like in here we have a 3x3. Three three. Uh, looks like Shengxiao Pearl. I think I already have this one. Uh, that's weird. And oh, that's the Rubik's Speed Cube. I have this cube too. That's interesting. And it looks like the only other thing left in this package here is their business card, cubicle.us, innovative cubing solutions. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I already have this cube and I'm pretty sure I already have this cube. So I'm kind of confused about that. And here we go. Here is the cube. Uh, it just feels exactly the same as the one that I already have. Basically, this is a Rubik's Grand Speed Cube, if you guys don't know already. It's like actually a million times better than anything the Rubik's company has produced before. Like this is their old original Speed Cube. And this is their Speed Cube now. It's just insane, super fast. But I already have a video on this when me unboxing it and I'll probably make a review pretty soon so there's not too much need to talk about it any further. The only major thing that has changed about this cube since the last time I made a video about it is it now is available for sale and so if you go onto the cubicle.us they're selling it for $19 which is I mean it's all right just to have as like a collector's item for a Rubik's brand cube. It's kind of just like a mid-range speed cube advertised and priced as a high-end speed cube but honestly just kind of the novelty of like these cool tiles which aren't stickers they're actually tiles built into the plastic and just it being a Rubik's brand cube in general I think that novelty is definitely worth a couple extra dollars it's just kind of cool to have but anyway now that this is my second copy of the same cube i'm just going to set this one off to the side and take my original one and do something pretty interesting to it so you'll see that later in the video also here we have the shangshao pearl 3x3 so i believe this is one that i've already unboxed too before from the cubicle but let's just open it up again and see if anything's different i guess so here it is yeah feels pretty similar to the one i had before here's the previous one and again, if you haven't heard, this is basically just like a more controllable, kind of better handling, better performance cube than the previous Shangsha Speed Cube, the Fengyuan, which isn't quite as good. At $14, it's pretty well priced for what it is, just kind of like a mid-range speed cube. It's not really competitive with something like a Valk or a GTS or a Gans Air uh, in performance, but it is a little bit more competitive when it comes to price. Anyway, back to the Rubik's Speed Cube. Here's what we're going to be doing with it. One word, magnets. Okay, so here we go. I just finished putting the magnets in. Of course, I haven't put the caps on yet, but I've never actually magnetized a cube like this that has cap pieces as opposed to three-part design. And it's actually kind of fun like this. So I guess we need to snap on all the caps now. But it's actually really satisfying to put these back on because they use these like little plastic clips. So you just snap it on and it's like... All right, so now about that snappiness, that kind of relates to another thing, which is kind of a reason that I wouldn't recommend making this cube even before turning it. It's that this cube is incredibly difficult to take apart. I actually cut out that part of the time lapse because it just took so long, probably like 20, 25 minutes just to get all the pieces apart and maybe like 20 minutes just to magnetize the cube. So yeah, the design is incredibly frustrating to take apart, which I guess we should kind of just expect from Rubik's at this point. But just turning the cube here, I mean, it feels pretty similar to what it felt before. It's just very blocky, very basic feeling, but very good at the same time. This just makes it feel a little bit more stable. It's not really something that this cube really needed. It was a very stable cube to begin with, but just having that extra little tactile click every time you turn it is really nice. And I guess at this point, you could probably loosen it a little bit, which might give it a little bit of extra performance without giving up that stability. But anyway, I wouldn't really recommend making this mod. Again, it already starts out pretty stable and it's just so hard to take this cube apart. But anyway, this was a pretty fun mod to make. It was a pretty fun unboxing. Again, I've already made full first impression videos on both of these cubes, so I'll link to those unboxings down in the description. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!